I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that clowns are getting a bad rap. Nobody stores cotton candy like this. Welcome everybody to another review. Today we're going to be talking about Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is just the perfect title, like just the right amount of syllables. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is about exactly what you think it's about. It's about a group of aliens who strangely resemble clowns who come down to Earth and try and harvest the population of a small town for feeding, and it's up to our protagonist to try and stop them. So Killer Clowns from Outer Space is one of those cult classics that unfortunately I hadn't really gotten around to seeing until quite recently. I only got the Blu-ray just a couple months ago. And of course, once I saw it, I immediately understood why it was such a huge cult classic. I mean, you take that basic idea, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and the filmmakers just committed to it so totally. You have them shooting popcorn at a gun. You see them making these balloon bloodhound type things. You see them using corpses as puppets. It's just everything you could possibly want out of a movie like this, it delivers. I do. Knock my block off. <laughs> but what's amazing to me about this movie is how it balances that 80s style of horror with the 50s style. Because the plot here is very reminiscent of films such as The Blob. We have an alien threat who comes down to threaten this sanctimonious small town. And we have a group of teenagers who try and stop them despite the fact that the adults are clearly not believing them. And we do have very likable protagonists. Not anybody who's gonna rise up to the pantheon of icons, but people that you want to see one the day. Something that surprised me about this film was just how disturbing the implications of it actually were. Because the plot essentially is a group of aliens who happen to look like clowns going around and killing innocent people in very creative ways, very admirably creative ways, but killing innocent people nonetheless and harvesting them for food. Still more fun than the circus, though. The film was written and directed by the Chiodo brothers, who also did the special effects, and I have to applaud them on all fronts, because everything from the writing, directing, and special effects work pretty much all work perfectly in unison to realize the vision that they had for this. I mean, of course, the killer clown idea is nothing new. I mean, most famously, it's been done recently in It, but I can't say it's ever been as entertaining or even as morbid here. I mean, just the designs on some of these aliens, like how freakish they look. Like, it's so respectable in how creative it is, but it sends chills down my spine just thinking about them. But it doesn't go overboard with the gore or with any of that like some of the 80s movies were prone to do. It balances that really well with comedy. And there's this weird almost sense of wholesomeness to the whole thing. Despite the fact that again, townspeople are being murdered and saved for food, you can imagine this movie fitting in with that kind of Leave it to Beaver-esque tone that the 50s movies had. But to put this veneer of innocence over all the carnival, over all the car so to put this veneer of innocence over this carnival-esque type horror that the Chiyota brothers have brought here, I thought was a very interesting approach, to say the least. I mean, overall, just the way they united that B-movie aesthetic with the Killer Clowns concept, I thought was ingenious. I thought it made for a very unique, refreshing type of horror film. Again, it's obvious to me why it's a cult classic now, and I wish I'd gone around seeing it sooner. But I probably wouldn't have because freaking hate clowns. So guys, have you seen this film? You probably have. And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Do you love it as much as everybody else? Are you not so much a fan? What are your thoughts? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button down below for more content in the future.